deprived or denied of his or her rights. And if such situations occur, they defend the rights of these individuals. They stand up and they speak up for these individuals. They engage in public debates, workshops, symposium to educate and inform the public on matters of public interest. That is, the civil society, they engage in debates, debates that has to do with public matters, public issues, issues that is of interest to the masses, issues that is of interest even to the citizens of the states. They organize workshops, they organize symposium just to educate and bring to the awareness and to inform the citizens and the entire public of such matters. Qualities of the civil society. One, political neutrality. The civil society are not expected to be card-carrying members of any political party. That is, the civil society are not expected to join any political party so as to maintain their political neutrality and this will help in the effecting of their duties as a civil society. Orderliness. They are expected to be organized and civil in their protests and agitations even though they compromise they comprise of illiterates, semi-illiterates and elites. That is during protests and agitations and cry out of the civil society. Even though they comprise of the illiterates of the society, the semi-illiterate members of the society, and even the society elites, there should be order, that is, they should be organized and they should be orderly in the carrying out of these protests and agitations. Justice. The main basis of their actions should gear toward justice and fair treatment. That is, for any civil society to take any action, the action must be geared towards the effection of justice and also fair treatment of citizens. Other attributes of the civil society include courage, fearlessness, self-discipline, non-tribal consciousness, and law-abiding, and so many other attributes. Problems of civil society. The civil society encounters different problems, and some of them are, one, political sponsorship. Some of the demands and agitations of civil societies have political undertones. That is, the opposition parties pay the civil societies to fight against the policies and the programs of the government in power. That is, the civil society use the coverage of fighting for human rights and citizen rights, whereas they are fighting for opposition parties against the government because they have been paid to do so. Bribery and corruption. Some of the societies have neglected their functions due to bribery and corruption. The civil society are expected to carry out certain functions that would be to the interest of the society citizens. But most of them, or some of them, have neglected these duties and functions because of bribery and corruption. Other problems that the civil society encounters include disturbance of public peace and threatening security in the nation. That is, some of the agitations lead to threatening the security of the society and thereby turns to disturbance of the public peace. Exposure of youths to criminal activities and antisocial vices during protests and riots. Destruction of public properties and so on. Popular participation. Popular participation means to have interest in the activities of a nation 
such as social, political, or economic activities. As a responsible citizen, one must be ready to offer one's skills, knowledge, and other gifts for the development of the nation. Types of popular participation. We have political participation. This means having interest and partaking in electioneering process and also the democratic governance. Two, economic participation. This means to partake in legitimate and legal trade and business activities for the progress of the nation. Three, social participation. This involves making use of our talents and skills for national development and growth. Four, educational participation. The citizens must be ready to support the government in educational institutions, thereby taking part in different educational activities that will bring glory to the nation. Sports participation. Citizens gifted and talented with sporting skills should make use of it for the community and also the nation for the progress, recognition, and also to bring glory to the nation. Arts and humanities. This involves active participation in the growth of the nation through creativity, such as visual arts, graphic designs, drawing, painting, sculpturing, dyeing, and bleaching, and so on. Last on the list is science participation. The citizens should engage in researches to open the nation to new discoveries and inventions. This implies that the citizens in the science area should devote themselves and also devote their resources to researches so as to bring about discoveries and inventions in the nation. Benefits of popular participation. There are several benefits of popular participation. Some of them are, one, it improves national income generation. That is, popular participation helps improve the income generation of the nation. Two, it ensures that credible people are elected into government. This implies that during the electioneering process, when there is popular participation of all the citizens, this ensures to make sure that the credible people, the eligible candidates, are elected into government positions. Three, bring honor and recognition to individual and the nation. That is, popular participation may be in aspects of sports, education, arts, sciences, would bring honor and recognition to individuals and also to the nation at large. It guarantees political stability. When every individual in the states performs its duties as expected. This ensures popular participation and popular participation in turn guarantees political stability or government stability in the nation. Five, it enhances peace and unity in the nation. That is, when popular participation is achieved in a certain society, then there is peace and unity in the nation. Traditional mode of popular participation. Traditional mode of popular participation involves the old way and methods of getting involved in matters of public interest. The political setup 
day 